Hey, everyone. Oh. Hey, everyone. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and I am here today to talk to you guys about being a geek. Okay? Now, over the course of my life, I've had an interesting conversation with a few people. It's like, wow, you play Dungeons and Dragons, but you're black. Or, you read comics, but you're black. And it seems I'm not alone in this conversation. It seems, but you're black can be replaced with, but you're a girl, or but you're gay, or anything that's not middle class white male. Sorry guys. But with all those cards being pulled, okay, I started to tell folks to just put those cards back in the deck, stop playing the race card or the gender card or whatever. And I also started going around to all these different stores everywhere I could get to just to meet other geeks that had been marginalized by the internet. Women, people of color, LGBT, even the physically disabled, okay? I noticed that a trend in the conversation started, so I started Back in the Deck Productions, and we're an internet company dedicated to housing a community of intersectional nerddom. So, on the internet, sadly, when geeks like me participate in a conversation, a strange things happen when it comes to properties that we like and people start yelling and well you guys know the comment section on videos so we're building a community where all are heard now all are welcome but the point of view of women people of color LGBT and the disabled are the priority that way you don't have to ask a black guy what he thought about the latest superhero movie um, because we're already talking about it. I mean, let's say you or your sister want to share what she thinks about pop culture, like, you know, the latest superhero movie starring a woman. She can hear, and her point of view will be heard. Now, we do internet reviews, battle reports, um, board game stuff, you know, reviews and things, just to provide an, an environment where you can find out about these things and the idea of of you you suck because you're not me that's not going to be tolerated okay that's that's not what we're there for but we need to start a GoFundMe to finally launch it with all the whistles and bells that a, well that a subscriber site needs to you know serve a community now we have a small amount of merch and fun incentives for interacting with us but once launched our pricing plan will have lots of good stuff for folks of most budgets and along with the patreon page we may be per we'll well we may be able to provide all this content and programs and store recommendations to every single decker ad free but if you don't have that much money that's fine we don't want your money we're here for you now at our one dollar tier it'll be a thank you you'll get the warmth of knowing that you contributed to helping geeks find each other isn't that nice now at $5, we know that you care. Now we don't have a whole bunch, I mean we don't have much, but you'll at least get a keychain. But at the $25 mark, you'll have a permanent reminder of how much you helped with a 3D printed sculpture of some kind, okay? And that's with the keychain and all that other stuff. Now with the $50 tier, you'll get a Decker plaque featuring your name, and a one-year subscription to the website once launched. I mean, you'll you'll be an official decker. Now, at the $100 tier, you'll get Benefactor. And that comes with all of our previous tiers. But your name will appear in all the credits of all the videos for the next year, along with our patrons. Okay? Now, at the $1,000 thing, if there's somebody out there willing to give us 1000 bucks, I'm cool. And that's the executive with all of the previous tiers and a personal thank you video and a separate executive door credit on all the videos and a beat um, on the back in the deck t-shirts now our stretch goals are pretty long and I'm not gonna lie we need the six hundred dollars to really get us off the ground but if we reach a thousand we can purchase the equipment that would allow us to live stream on twitch um, which is really important to do the stuff in real time with high quality and at the $2,000 mark, we'll be better equipped to take this show on the road for interviews of cosplayers and stores around the entire country that support and nurture the demographic of women, people of color, LGBT, and the disabled. So we want to say thank you just for hearing out this video and do what you can. But 
Until then, this is the Cinematic Sorcerer saying that if anybody tells you that you can't like what you like because of your circumstances of birth, you just tell them to take that card and put it back in the deck. All right? Thanks a lot, guys. And fade.